welcome to chemistry made easy kindly subscribe share and give your valuable commands for the growth and sharing of knowledge hello my dear students and dear viewers happy to see you all again in this video in the previous video we have discussed about the homolytic fission and the free radicals formed as a result of homolytic fission and the structure and stability of free radicals today we are going to discuss about the heterolytic cleavage or heterolytic fission in covalent bonds of organic compounds so where it takes place it takes place in heteronuclear molecules which means that organic compounds containing different atoms and when it takes place when there is an electronegativity difference then preferentially heterolytic cleavage takes place under suitable conditions so this word itself is enough to describe what it is hetero means different or unequal lysis means splitting or breaking so the splitting or breaking of covalent bonds takes place asymmetrically or unequally leading to the formation of charged species so in homolytic cleavage there is a symmetric cleavage and as a result free radicals are produced but here in heterolytic cleavage charged species are produced one is positively charged carbocation and the another one is negatively charged carbanion so these are the charged species produced as a result of heterolytic cleavage in covalent bonds in organic compounds so for heterolytic cleavage to express the transfer of electrons we are going to use double headed arrow so you guys may remember that in homolytic cleavage we have used a single headed arrow which means that only one electron is getting transferred here we are going to use double headed arrow which means that pair of electrons is going to transfer or involved in the cleavage and so heterolytic cleavage is otherwise known as asymmetrical splitting or asymmetrical cleavage so there is no symmetry in the fission of the covalent bonds so let us see some examples so a general representation of a covalent bond undergoing heterolytic fission is so here a cation carbocation is produced and an anion is produced carbanion so here this cation is produced from the less electronegative atom and this anion is produced from the more electronegative atom so electronegativity difference is the key behind heterolytic fission and the one which is having more electronegativity retains the bonded pair of electrons for example here this covalent bond contains two electrons and both the electrons are retained by the more electronegative b atom and the less electronegative a atom becomes cation so this is how heterolytic fission takes place in covalent bonds so let us see one more representation of heterolytic fission so here so you can see so there is a positive charge in the carbon so this is the carbocation formed 
so which means that z is more electronegative so here z is the more electronegative atom and it takes up both the electrons from the covalent bond or it retains the bonded pair of electrons with itself and the carbon becomes positively charged carbocation and similarly here if the z is less electronegative atom then it becomes then carbon takes or carbon retains the bonded pair of electrons and becomes carbanion and z becomes positively charged species so here electronegativity electronegativity difference plays a key role and the one which is having more electronegativity retains the bonded pair of electrons leaving the other one with positive charge so this is how heterolytic fission takes place in covalent bonds so let us see some specific examples for heterolytic cleavage first one the heterolytic cleavage in tertiary butyl bromide so here bromine being an electronegative atom that is more electronegative atom compared to carbon it always possess a small negative charge and it takes up the bonded pair of electrons and becomes br minus leaving the carbon as cation that is the tertiary butyl carbocation okay so here you can see the bond is cleaved unsymmetrically leading to the formation of a positive and a negative species or intermediates we can call and one more example in aldol condensation we can see that there is a step involving obstruction of proton from the alpha hydrogen of the aldehyde the base what we are using actually obstructs a proton and leaving carbanion so this is the species involved in aldol condensation and producing a water molecule so this is the carbocation so due to high electronegative bromine atom it becomes carbocation but here compared to hydrogen carbon is more electronegative and it retains the bonded pair of electrons and becomes carbanion so this is how carbocation and carbanions are formed in heterolytic fission or heterolytic bond cleavage so keep it in mind that it is unsymmetrical cleavage and the bond breaks unsymmetrically leading to the formation of charged species and it depends on the electronegativity difference the one which is having more electronegativity retains the bonded pair of electrons and the one which is having less electronegativity becomes positively charged cation so this is how heterolytic cleavage takes place in covalent bonds of organic compounds in the next video we will discuss the detailed explanations of carbocations and carbanions until then thank you so much bye